Hello and welcome to another training session. This time it's doing uh, Photoshop. It's another one of the training courses that we do. Uh, this time we're going to have a look at the pen tool in Photoshop. So I've got Photoshop CS6 here. Uh, I've got some, uh, an example here of how to use the pen tool. So we're going to have different stages in this. This is the beginner's ones talking about straight paths. So firstly we've got Adobe Photoshop here. You can use pretty much any version of uh, Photoshop. Uh, in fact you can use other drawing packages as well. Just going to zoom back a little bit. Uh, you can see I've got an exercise file here open straight, it's called, and we've got our tools down on the left hand side. Now what we're going to do, if I just zoom in, we're going to go down to our pen tools, you can see that one there, give it a click and you can see, give it a click and you can see our pen tools selected. So we've got some of the things that we're going to do here, I'm going to zoom right on in so you can see. So if I zoom right further on, that's good, and then I'm just going to use, actually, I'm just going to zoom in as well, um, let me just zoom out one little bit, and then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here and that's good okay so we've got A to B here so what you do with the pen tool is you draw points you don't draw the lines you just draw points so what I'm doing here is clicking on the A once one click on the A and then I click one on the B and you can see a line's drawn between between the two there you go I'll zoom in even further so you can see there you go and then to finish the line I hold down the control key on the keyboard. Notice when I hold the control key down, my mouse pointer turns into a white arrow. So I hold the control key down, click away, and you can see the line there. I'm ready to draw the next one. So let's draw the next one here. So we've got C and D. You see the lines there. You see the two control points at either end. So what I'm going to do is click away, hold down the control key, and then click away so it's deselected. If you don't press the control key when you deselect, then it will automatically connect your next dot to the previous line, as will be seen over this one, this one here. I'm just going to pan this over a bit, so you can see. That's good, and I'm actually going to make it a little bigger. That's better. Okay, so we're going to do from E, F, G, H, and I. So just click down to E, click once, go up to F, G, H, and I. So you can see this little mountain range that we're creating here. Eventually what you'll learn with the pen tool, you can draw paths. Obviously we're drawing paths now, which you can use later on for selection, for filling, for making shapes. There's a variety of different uh, things that you can use these uh, paths for. For the time being, just have patience, take it easy and slowly, and then, um, and then you'll start developing your pen tool skills. So what we're going to do now is deselect. So do you remember how we deselect? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think couple of seconds up you hold down the control key and you click away brilliant so I'm just gonna pan down if incidentally I'm panning down by holding down my space bar on the keyboard and notice if I hold my space bar whatever tool I'm on if I hold my space bar down it reverts back to the hand tool you can see there so each one of those shapes we've drawn has been an open shape which means that I have to press down control to click away but if I didn't, say for instance I wanted to do a closed shape, I don't have to click away. So just remember my alphabet, H, I, J, K, L. So we're going to go K, J, sorry, K, L, and back to J again. So let's do that. So click on J, K, L. And then as I hover over here, I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see. And again... Notice, can you see there's a little tiny circle appeared next to my pen mouse pointer. When you see that circle, you know that a shape has been closed. So, see if I move off, you don't see it. If I move on, you do see it. So when you've seen that, give it a click, and you can see the shape's closed. I no longer have to click off anywhere to be able to, do, to, be able to um, um, draw another path. So I'm just going to go over. Uh, I'm just going to pan as well to bring that star in. So we're going to do the star. So this time there's no numbers. What I normally do, in fact contrary to the last one, I normally go clockwise around the shape. It might become more obvious in future exercises, but for this time what we're going to do is click on the first point of the star and we're going to follow the star around. There we go. Don't worry too much if you're not exactly on the grace uh, dots if you're going around. Just make sure you get the points in. Make sure when you get to the end I zoom in to show you that you've got a circle. Make sure there's a circle to close the shape. Give it a click, and you can see you've got your closed star. Now, there'll be more videos in Photoshop coming, so please keep an eye out for them. Uh, but if you want any more information, uh, you want a video added as well, please see www.computertutoring.co. 
thank you very much for listening.